Remember the time when I sneaked in this thing into one of my videos? I got an idea. I will make a video about this. Yeah, this time. Well, now I will tell you what this actually is. I've been always a fan of uh, welding things, soldering things, and making things with your own hands. And this is no exception. Um, I've been looking for something for a long time to weld or braze aluminum. Now, I'm no expert in this, and I know, I know, I could just go ahead and spend 2,000 Canadian dollars on a proper TIG welder. But, we take the hard way. We build something called hydrogen generator and then, and then we attach a torch onto this thing and then hopefully it gives us enough gas to be able to braze aluminum. This project came to life after watching a video of a guy who made a uh, hydrogen generator which he's using it to weld metals together. Now the attracting part about the hydrogen itself is it's really dangerous. So that's a first check mark for me. If it's dangerous, I'm obviously going to try it. In fact, I had tried this before even before this channel had existed. I do not have any footage of those moments when I had actually built the generator, but let's make one thing clear. After generating a certain amount of gas in a glass jar, around that area uh, where this is standing, I took a lighter, I lit it on fire as people show on YouTube and the freaking lid shoots up and hits the ceiling one of the lamps fluorescent lamps and completely destroys it now at that moment I realized hey uh, this is freaking dangerous maybe I should wait a year or ten until I actually understand how to build a proper generator so the plates don't corrode and all of those mambo jumbos. And this is it. This is when I'm going to build one and it's actually going to work. The construction of this generator is very simple, although pretty dangerous. You see, it's just a PVC sewer pipe with a cap on it. Now. We have another cap which we drilled some holes in and then we placed these three or four, three or four stainless threaded inserts which holds a plug, a fill port, okay. We got our um, exit uh, for the gas which we could fine tune with this ball valve. Uh, it's, it's very, very precise of course. And then we got a gauge, which for some reason it's brand new, but it doesn't show right. It's going to show us the pressure inside the chamber to make sure we don't have any gas leaking or any dangerous pressures building up. And that is pretty much it. Now, I did have a plan to use these three or, three or four stainless plates that I conveniently cut to the right size. Now the problem is, I thought it would be easier to spot weld these guys 
And although I could spot well the bolts, bolts to it, I could sp spot well the nuts, washers to it, I could not find a way to connect all the positives and the negatives together, which makes it pretty much impossible for me to actually uh, connect these together and make it into a proper hydrogen generator. So I'm mean, going to throw these out as ironically I need a hydrogen generator to build the hydrogen generator from these plates because um, when we build this thing I will make a gen 2 which will um, which will braise stainless to this so we could actually bolt the thing together so uh, that is that now what I come out with is actually genius you would not believe how easy it would be you're shopping for a three or four three or four stainless steel you need something with a great surface area cheap to replace and available at almost any store what would it be huh huh you would never guess these guys <laughs> unbelievable I was shopping for something that would be cheap to replace and I couldn't wrap my head around anything that you know I, I did see this earlier but it just didn't come up to my mind that this has a really big surface area it might not look big but this thing probably has the same surface area as all of these plates together so I didn't think for too long and I started working on a way to actually put these guys inside the chamber without causing a short so we take a can like this we put three of them here three of them inside and then everything goes inside the cane like this and gets filled with the solution of electrolyte now I will go into greater detail about this when I will be actually completing this uh, there's still a long way to go there's a lot of things I have to figure out for example how to sufficiently connect all the parts of this uh, chips from a lathe pretty much how do I connect all of them together so I have a sufficient current flow into this how do I connect power to the can without it leaking uh, pressure and all that so there, there's still a long way to go plus I gotta buy a torch probably a settling torch or something like that so there's still a long way to go so this is just kind of an overview a small update on this probably got a couple people curious about this so yeah anyway uh thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to leave a like uh, hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more cool things on the channel show me your support thanks for watching i will see you in the next one Thank you.